All right, guys, welcome back to Tony's Phone Collection. Here we got a LG NV Touch in decent shape. Um, this one we're going to throw out of the car while driving. Hold on, I'll fuck it real quick. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm quite interested to find out. Move some stuff around real quick. So, uh, we just got done doing some drop tests here. Um, so, uh, here she is, works just fine, no passcode or anything, I fully charged it, so we're good to go. And there won't be a slow motion, because, uh, I usually don't hit it. We're going to be driving a, uh, 2006 Honda Accord, it's got 2.4, so it's 4 cylinder, so it's not the fastest, but it should get at the same speed as the Suzuki does. And this LG uh, MV Touch is in, I would say, average shape. Um, there's not really any cracks on the body itself. So, uh, I said everything fully works on it. So, let's go and get this ready to go. Get the window down. Turn the AC off. Here we go. I need to drive in three, two, one. There we go. Oh, it's gone just like that. Let's go take a look at it and see if we can find it. Now, like I said, they did do some of the road work up here, so it's been kind of repaved. So, uh, there she is. It opened, too. Let's see if we got close enough. Oh, yeah, we got close enough. Oh, the door's gonna hit me. Alrighty, so damage. The charging port cover came off. Ooh, look at the scratches on this thing, guys. It doesn't... Oh, there it goes. Turns back on. <clears throat> massive amount of scratches on the screen the back as well don't see any corner damage Let's get toasty. <clears throat> um, it doesn't want to stay turned on as you can see corners look good um, that's pretty loud there is some scratches on the inside as well which is pretty crazy you can see right there Right there. I don't see where it initially hit. I think it hit on the front, truthfully. So let's go for it again. Let's uh, pull the battery out and uh, put it back in. Maybe reset the phone, see if that lets it turn back on. Alrighty. We'll go make a U turn real quick. I need to get a. Um, a GoPro and a GoPro window mount so I can mount on the window. That'd be pretty cool to have. Maybe one on the back too. I'm gonna have to pick one of them up. Alright, let's go get like I said, I want to get as much pull as we can from here. So it looks like it won't stay turned on. It just keeps shutting off. So, uh, I think it's uh, probably this battery cable or this battery connection right there. Let's see if I can just bump it a little bit. Yeah, I think it's that battery connection. But, let's go ahead and go for it again. Should we do it while it's open this time? It's going to be pretty harsh. Hopefully, it makes it. All right, my knee ready in three, two, one. turn I don't know what speed we're getting up to so uh you guys will have to tell me because I can't see let's see where's the phone at this one I might have to get out and look for oh there it is right up there I don't see it oh man the windshield's dirty don't judge my car there it is boom
That looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and we're going to leave it open like a little laptop. And we're going to drive by and hit it. Should I get the camera out there? I was thinking about leaving the camera out but I don't know if I want to do that. And let's go for it. Let's go for it. I'll just grab the, I'm going to switch the iPhone. I'll put this one in slow motion. So uh, let me get this set up and we'll do that. Here's our our display. Oh, let's see. So I've got a little cover for the uh, screw hole up here. Oh. It completely crushed the side of the hinge. I don't think I'm going to turn it on. Yeah. It is a goner, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And stay tuned for the next one.